Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Glad to have you here. We're gonna do something a little bit special today. Uh, this set is sealed and I'm never opening it. I'll explain to you why in a second. Uh, this is the 77904 Nebulon B frigate. It's a medical ship in the Star Wars galaxy. Uh, it was from the 2020 San Diego Comic Con. Uh, this is limited edition up here. Um, and that right there should explain to you a little bit about why I titled this video, uh, I should not have this set, uh, because technically I would not have been able to get this in the regular manner because this is one of those sets that you can only pick up if you're physically at the convention. Uh, and I'm sure some of you are aware of the fact that the date for this particular Comic-Con is uh, 2020, and uh, we all know what happened then. Uh, so, that convention was canceled, and in order to get these out to the people, uh, lego.com sold them for $40. Um, I was lucky enough to be one of the few people to pick it up on uh, launch. I think I got it about an hour in. I forgot about it and then I was like oh hey crap I gotta gotta go in there and I picked it up for 40 bucks um, and because of the fact that this is such an exclusive set and I would not have been able to pick it up in any other way I do not feel comfortable ever opening this so it is going to stay sealed I don't intend to ever sell it um, because I don't I don't speculate, I don't use Lego as investment or anything, I, I'm a collector. Uh, I like to put them together. But, I don't know, something about this just screams to me, keep it sealed. Because um, it's, it is a special collector item. Um, like I said, I got it for $40 on Lego.com, um, which I presume would have been the price at the Comic Con had it actually taken place. Uh, currently, you can get this on secondary market for about, I don't know, $130, $140 starting off. I haven't checked the quality or if it even has the uh, the box for that. You'd have to look into that yourself. Uh, that's starting price, about $140, and it goes up to about $200, depending on where you're looking. I know if you buy it through like Walmart, stuff like that, it's, it's typically pretty expensive because it's third party. Um, eBay, you can get it for like 150 Um, it's a cute little set. Um, it's, like, I don't really have a way to show you how the size of it, but, um, up here you can see that is the actual size. Yeah, the turret there, which I assume is this right here. I think it's that turret. So, that's about, yeah, you know, yay big. So, it's, is decent sized it's I think this counts as MIDI scale pretty sure that's that's what it counts as um, it's 459 pieces so $40 for that much you know 10 cents apart it comes out about even a little bit less than than that I mean they easily could have done 50 for it um, with that part count they don't really have any big pieces though so I think that's what really keeps the the price down. I don't think there's any printed tiles or decals or anything, uh, simply because it's it's quite small. Uh, you've got the, uh, this is for the 40th anniversary of Empire Strikes Back, you got the logo down there. You've got the San Diego Comic-Con International 2020 Limited logo right there. Uh, Comic-Con 2020 there. Back of it there, you can see the engines. And then here, you see it has the stand, very nice stand. I mean, that's a good, I don't know, 20 pieces right there at least. Um, so it's it's not very big, but it comes with its own stand, because you kind of have to with the the, uh, the design of the ship. And it has, I think, that might be a sticker for the uh, 40th anniversary Empire Strikes Back placard. Um, but yeah, you can see it's very nicely made. A lot of details in something this size. Uh, they did a good job. Um, 
I almost wish I had gotten a second one. But, you know, I didn't want to be greedy, pick up too many of them. Um, you got the San Diego Comic-Con 2020 up here and over on here side. And uh, let me show you the, bottom, the top and the bottom. There's not really much there, but you can see it in the background there. Um, yeah, it's a cute little, cute little collector. Um, I can't obviously show you it built because I don't intend to ever open this, you know, like I said earlier. Um, this is going to stay the way it is. Yeah, I like it. It's cute. I'm glad I have it. And it's going to be something really nice to have in my collection. Uh, anyway, if you liked it or if you have it, uh, go ahead and comment down below. Um, and yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.